Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now, as you probably know, I'm a big fan of Intel's GPUs and every time there's a new driver or beta driver released, I always go through the notes to see what has changed. Now, this time I picked up on something pretty interesting and that is that the older DX11 based Assassin's Creed Unity has apparently seen up to 271% performance uplift at 1080p with the very high settings and at 1440p with the high settings, there's a 313% uplift. I believe these results were taken from an i9 and a750 configuration. I have the a750 myself, a fantastic card that is always improving with driver updates and I'm glad that Intel are very transparent about what changes and that they're putting in the effort to improve the frame rates not just with newer titles but older popular ones as well. So I thought we'd test Assassin's Creed Unity to see what sort of real world improvements we could see on my more modest i5 12400F system which uses 3200 MHz DDR4, 32 gigs of the stuff. So here we are then in the settings menu. As you can see, I've gone with the very high graphics quality as stated in the notes and nothing else has been changed. Now, what I didn't realize was that the performance was so bad before with the previous 4502 drivers. I thought we'd be going from perhaps 30 or 40 frames per second um, to a higher figure, but I didn't realize we'd be starting out with sub 20 FPS in some areas. I actually really like Assassin's Creed Unity as well. I think it holds up graphically really nicely in 2023. And I'm glad that improvements have been made. But to reiterate, this is with the previous 4502 graphics driver. Nothing wrong with this GPU utilization. That's at 99% and we are hitting that max boost clock speed as well. Performance is picking up as we make our way towards this area now. Not as much going on in terms of crowds and such but we are still seeing some pretty hefty dips though here we're getting a sort of increase to 30 uh, 30 plus every so often it's very inconsistent but let's do a clean install of the latest beta drivers and see how things improve so here we are again, same area with the new 4514 drivers installed. As you can see, immediately there is a massive difference. Now I'm not sure if I'm getting the same 200 and something percent uplift that Intel were getting with their i9 rig, but I think that was to be expected. I've also noticed that the CPU utilization has gone up and the GPU utilization has gone down. Our usage in terms of the RK750 is a bit more all over the place, but we are still hitting that max 2400 megahertz GPU clock. So that's a bit strange, but I can't really complain because the performance has gone up. So from what I'm guessing, I'm going to say we're probably seeing about 150% of an increase of an uplift over the previous drivers. There are still some dips and drops here and there. I'll put the exact figures up on screen, of course, as well as the change in percentage that we are getting performance wise with my i5-12400F and A750 with the latest 4514 beta drivers. There are definitely improvements though and Assassin's Creed Unity, while it's still not perfect on the Arc A750, this does represent the solid effort that Intel are continuing to make with their driver updates and I'm glad that it's not just new and DX12 games that are getting attention because that would be the obvious thing to do, right? But yeah, nice to see Intel's driver division working hard on optimizing some of the uh, most popular games, no matter the age, and definitely happy with my RK750 purchase because of this. It's nice to see the constant changes being implemented. But that's all for this one. Just wanted to see what sort of real-world performance we could expect um, in comparison to the official patch notes, but it is a nice improvement nonetheless. So I hope you found this video helpful. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, leave a dislike if you didn't. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and hopefully I'll see all of you in the next one.